Hey and welcome to another WordPress tutorial. In this video, I'm showing you how to work with custom meta fields on WordPress. The good news is that now you can work with them with no need to dive into code, thanks to Jet Engine plugin. I'll show you how to work with that in a minute, and now let me show you an example of what we're going to be creating today. So this is an example of a post page, and all the information that you see was created with the help of meta fields. This one down here looks pretty familiar, nothing unusual. So the date of the publication, the author and the comments. But all of the others are the custom meta fields. So now you can add all the information that you want your visitors to see. You can add media like images, you can add text, you can add time and some more options that I'm going to show you in a second. You can add custom meta fields to both default post types and custom post types, including the products if you want to add some more information to your product pages. So now let's go ahead to our dashboard. And since I have created these custom meta fields for the default post type, I'll show you how it works with the custom post type. It is called portfolio in my case. So to start working with custom meta fields, all we need is to go to Jet Engine plugin that you can download if you follow the link in the description down below and go to meta boxes. Now you see this is the one that I have created before and you have to click on add new. So the first thing you need to do is to enter the name of your custom meta box. So what should this be? Let it be meta box number two. All right. And here you have to choose for what type of content you want this meta box to work. I'm going to choose post. As you see, you can also choose the taxonomy, but in my case, it's going to be post. Now let's go ahead and add the actual meta field. Let's type in the title. The first thing I want to add is going to be an image. And here I'm just going to repeat the title. And in the type here, you see the drop down menu where you can choose the option that you want to add to your meta field. You see here is a date which allows you to add a date that's pretty obvious, a time, date time, which you can also make like a timestamp, the text area, checkbox, icon picker, media. In this case, we need media because we have named our meta field an image. So let it be media. Let's go ahead and add something else. What have we got here? The repeater allows you to add several meta fields that's going to repeat uh, each other, like the title and the type is going to be repeating. The color picker, the radio. Okay, what should we do? Let this be the text area and it's going to be a link that's going to be leading somewhere. And the last section, let it just be time. I'm going to choose time. Okay, that's pretty much it. Looks easy. And next you need to click this little button. And also here we can specify for what post types this meta box will apply. Since we have chosen posts, now we can choose to what post type it will work. So you see here pages, posts, media. If you create some other custom post type, it's going to appear right here. Here's my custom post type is called portfolio. I'm choosing this one and we're up. I guess we're finished. So yeah, that's it. Let's just press update. So it's going to save all our changes. Don't forget before you leave the page, after you have changed some settings before you leave the page, don't forget to click this button because otherwise it will not remember all of your changes. Okay, good. Now let's go ahead to our portfolio. Let's just do whatever post we want like this one. And if you scroll down, you see in the settings section that here are all the custom meta fields that we have created an image, a link with the text area and the uh, area to 
put in the time, the whatever time we want to put in. Let's choose media. Let's just choose something different from the image that we have in the thumbnail. So we're going to see the difference. Uh, the link, you know, whatever, website.com link, you know, just for an example. The time, as you see, you can apply the time manually. And let's just say nine. Um, okay, let it be. So um, it may be useful if you add in custom meta fields for certain type of products and you want to let your visitors know when the sale runs out, for example. Okay, good. So we have put in the information in our custom meta fields and now it's time to show you how you can display this on the front end. Let's update the uh, post. All right, that's it. And all you need to do is to go to Jet Engine plugin, go to listings, and create a new listing item. Okay, and it takes us to Elementor page builder. And if you scroll all the way down, you're gonna find the listing elements that are the part of Jet Engine plugin. We're gonna start with a dynamic field. And it's going to say the title of our post. I just make it just a little bigger. Like that. That's good. And again, let's choose the dynamic image now. And you see here are two options, post thumbnail and the image. So that image that is our custom meta field with the media. As you see, the image is different. So what we're going to do is to change the size. OK, let it be. No, that's too small. Let it be that. OK, good. So what's next? You can also apply a link to this image. Let's just let's do it. Why not? And again, let's go to a dynamic field. What else do we have here? If you if you click on the source, you're going to see that you can either apply post or term data or the metadata. And we're going to apply our metadata and here are all the custom meta fields that we have created. And the link time let's press link. And it has displayed our link. So the link that we put in in that text area. And we can also select an icon um, globe. Let's make it a little more attractive, like just a little bit. 23 and 10. Okay, that kind of works. I don't know, like that. Let's see what is left. Again, metadata. And now time. And it has displayed the time that we have typed in. The icon clock. Yeah, I guess clock. And the size was 23. The gap was 10. Here it was 20. Looks fine, doesn't it? OK, we're done in here. Now you know how to work with custom meta fields with the help of Jet Engine plugin. Now you see that it's super easy and you don't need to dive into code. Now you can display more information about your posts, whether they are of default post type or of the custom post type. Or maybe there are products that you want to showcase on your website. If you want to see more tutorials on WordPress, go and check out our YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you the next time.